Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about mode and median. We have already learnt how to find out mean and range of the given data. Now let us study two more measures of central tendency or the forms of representative values that is mode and median. So first of all let us study about mode. Now mode of a set of observations is the observation that occurs most often. Let's take an example. Suppose we are given a set of values 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 20, 40, 10, 20 and 40 and we need to find out the mode of this set of observations. So first of all we will arrange the numbers with same value together. Thus we have 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30, 40, 40 and 40. So here 10 occurs 2 times, 20 occurs 4 times, 30 occurs only once and 40 occurs 3 times. Now here 20 occurs maximum number of times that is 20 occurs most often. So here the mode of this set of values will be 20. Now let's see how to find out the mode of large data. Sometimes it is not easy to put the same observations together and count them if the number of observations is large. So in this case we tabulate the data and then we find out the mode of the given data. Let's take an example for this. Here we are given a set of observations and we need to find out mode. So first of all let us arrange this data in tabular form. So here in this table in the first column we will write the observations that is the number which occurs in the data then tally marks and then number of times a particular number occurs in the data. So let us start with 12. Here 12 occurs 3 times. So we will write 3 in the column of number of times because 12 occurs 3 times. Now we will represent 3 as tally marks like this. Let's move on to 13. 13 occurs 4 times. So we will write 4 in the column of number of times and we will represent 4 as tally marks. Next we have 14 and 14 occurs 3 times. So let us write 3 in the column of number of times and let's represent 3 as tally marks. Lastly we have 15 and 15 occurs 6 times. So let us write 6 in the column of number of times and we will represent 6 as tally marks. Now let us find out the mode. Here we can clearly see that 15 occurs 6 times that is maximum number of times. So the mode of the given data will be 15. Now let's move on to median. We already know that median is a form of representative value or the measure of central tendency. Now median refers to the value which lies in the middle of the data when arranged in an increasing or decreasing order with Half of the observations a 
above it and the other half below it. That means we can also say that if we are given a data and if we arrange the data in ascending or descending order, then the median will be the middle observation. Here is an example for this. We are given the data and we need to find out the median for the given data. So first of all, let us arrange the given values or the given observations in ascending order. Thus, we have 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 14, 16, 20. Now, here we have 9 observations. That means the 5th observation, that is 14, will be the median. So here, 14 is the median for the given data. Thus, in this session we have learned to find out mode and median. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.